This video is a guide to using Mantracourt's D-Cell DSC evaluation kit for RS232. The kit contains a manual for your DSC or D-Cell, which in Chapter 2 details getting started with your evaluation kit, a CD with Instrument Explorer, Mantracourt software that we provide so that you can interface with your device, a DSJ1. This will have on it the DSC of your choice or D cell of your choice mounted under here, as well as a temperature sensor for temperature compensation and an RS232 cable. To use your DSC or D cell evaluation kit, you'll require a power supply, a PC with a spare COM port, RS232, and a load cell or input signal device. The DSJ1 is attached to a power supply from junction 1 of the DSJ1. A load cell is attached to junction 2 via the 5 wire interface, as well as the temperature sensor, and the RS232 is connected to the Once RS232. you've set up all of your hardware, you can then install the software on your PC, Instrument Explorer. Then on Instrument Explorer, I need to select either the ASCII, Mantra Bus, or CAN Bus device that I have attached to my DSJ1. The DSC version 3 is what I have in the ASCII format. I then select the port, which is COM port 4, and the speed, which is 115200, and click OK. Then synchronize all the parameter values which means you have a successful connection to your DSC or D-cell. I can then watch the value, the instantaneous value from the D-cell. To do this, I go to here and configure the watch. What I want to watch is SYS, SYS, click Add and Close. Then in the watch window here, I see a value. If I then run the watch by clicking the tool here, then the value here instantaneously changes. And I can apply and remove weight and see the value change. If I stop the watch, the value stops changing. To perform a calibration, I would go into the wizard and system calibration auto. The first window advises you that you'll need two values, what you'll want as your zero and what you'll want as a significant next value. So with nothing on my load cell, I want an output of zero and with one can of drink on my load cell, I want an input of one. I then click next, and the value is one when there's a can on, and zero when the can's off. If I click finish, it then synchronizes those calibration details into the device. I can then restart the watch, and the value here is zero. If I apply a can of drink, it goes up to one. You can also use hyperterminal to attach to your device. Here I have a fresh window of hyperterminal, name my connection DSC, select the COM port, COM port 4, the speed of the COM port, again, 115200. Flow control is none, data bits 8, parity none, stop bits 1, and click OK. I then go File and Properties, and go to the ASCII setup. Then I want to send lines with, with line feeds, and append in, and listen to what I'm typing locally. Then, to receive a value from it, it's as simple as pling or exclamation mark, 
001, which is the station number of this device, and then sys. Question mark. I then receive back the value that is from that device. I apply a can to that and then repeat the same command, pling 001, sys, question mark. Then I get a value of 1 back. Similarly, I can also request the temperature by going pling 001, temp, question mark, and I receive back the temperature. If I send a command that the device does not understand, so 001 DSC, I receive back a question mark, which means that the command was not understood and there's no valid response.